Hello and welcome to this lesson 2 of Make Stories 101 course. Now in this lesson, in the, in, in the last lesson we saw how you can create an account on Make Stories and how you can switch between workspaces and how you can create your own workspace. And now in this particular lesson we are going to take a look at how to uh, you know like manage your entire stories and how you can create folders, how you can share stories with your team members so let's begin so now when you log in into your make stories account this is what it will look like if you have the content uh, but let's say i will move into a different uh, workspace so we can have a better look of what it looks like when uh, your entire dashboard is empty so this is what it will look like now you can manage um, various things like you can you can manage your uh, stories into by by moving them into separate folders so let's say uh, you are creating a content calendar and you want to have your stories uh, set week wise uh, so let's say i'm starting a content calendar for next month that is in may so i will create a folder saying may first week 2021 first week now you can also uh, go in and you can uh, you know like have folders inside the folders and things like that so what i will do is first i will create a folder that says may content calendar now this folder is successfully created now what i will i can actually uh, move this into May content calendar so now I will go inside May content calendar so here I can see May 2021 first week now I will go in and I will create a new story and I will say and then this is pretty much the same now I will save this and I will go back so now you can see uh, that this particular story is created in your workspace and not inside the content calendar May 2021 first week. So what you will have to do is you will have to move this to the folder that you would like to. So now you can see that inside this folder we have our story. So there are various ways to do that. Uh, let's say I create one more story. I will skip this for now. You can um, drag drop this story into a folder. That's also a way to do it. Now uh, I'll take you back to my workspace because it has a good amount of content and it, you can you know, like play around with the stories a bit. So now when you have a story over here, you will have an option that says view story. So this will do nothing but clicking on this view story will just open the story for you. And when you click this three dots, you will have an option. Sorry, you will have an option that says delete it, delete this, duplicate this, move this to a folder. Or else when you click on preview, you will do it will do nothing but just show you the preview of that story. And then over here in the last option, you have an option that says share. When I click on share, a share pop-up will open up. And here you will see an uh, a box that says at the example.com. So what you can do is you can click this and you can actually go in and invite someone better i will do one thing is that i will invite myself and you hit invite now when you do this it will say the user invited to collaborate on a story so now what i will do is i will just go into my at the right make stories email address and you can see that i have received an email saying that the invitation to edit so whenever you invite someone uh, if they don't have an account, Make Stories will automatically create a Make Stories account for them and send them an email. If they already have an uh, account, they, it will just send an email and give the access right to that particular 
user so this is how you can share the story uh, now let's say if you want to duplicate a story uh, you can duplicate and i'll say uh, 20 april uh, test dash uh, duplicate what this will essentially do is it will just duplicate the story and it will just have it in the same folder i will delete this for now uh, now here you can see that uh, these stories are being arranged by uh, the time you have opened them so if you open a story you can see that it will come up on the top so just don't get used to to that feeling of you know like having a particular story at at a fixed place because these things will keep on changing uh, depending on when you have opened them uh, we are working on a functionality where you can search the stories and you can also sort them by date or by number of slides and things like that so all of those things are coming pretty soon now here there is an another option that says shared with me so when you click on shared with me uh, it is basically nothing but it is the stories that other people have shared with you so just now you saw that i shared my story with pratik at makestories.io so when pratik at makestories.io will log in uh, he will see that particular story in shared with me section now again uh, when you click on shared with me you can see the folders and the stories so you can also share your folders with the people you want to so i'll just right click this i will click on share and again it's it's pretty simple uh, you can share the folders with anyone that you want uh, and then you can also rename the folders so let's say i'll change this to july 2021 and rename and you can see that this particular folder has been renamed then you have an option that says uh, deleted stories so deleted stories are basically nothing but the stories which you have deleted so you can restore them and then there is something called as scheduled stories uh, but remember that scheduling a story is available only with a specific product of make sure it's called connectors so if you have used connectors you already will have an onboarding call with the make stories team uh, so at that particular time, uh, either me or someone from the Make Stories team will guide you on how you can see your scheduled stories or how you can schedule your stories. So if you are uh, an individual user, at this moment, uh, unfortunately, we do not have an option of scheduling stories. So that's it in this particular lesson where we saw how you can have your stories arranged into folders, how you can create a folder, how you can share a story or a folder with someone how you can see the uh, folders and stories that other people have shared with you, how you can see the deleted stories. So this is all about how to manage your stories and folders using Make Stories Dashboard. Thank you.